can charge a Tesla 100% off grid from that big beautiful star right there in the sky with a solar panel and solar generator. But before we get to that, let's talk about today's sponsor, Waves RX. And they sent me this tri anchor right here to try out. And you won't believe how easy and simple this thing is to use. So, right here, I've got the Waves RX tri foldable fenders. All this fits in the front of my jet ski, which has very limited space. And I love how compact all this stuff is. So, the anchor lines, the dock lines, the bungee lines. And take a look at the stitching. Just appreciate how nice all these products are made. So, right here, wash and wax ceramic coating i've got the beach anchor so stay tuned dr dent 15 for 15 percent off your future waves rx products let's get back to the video so charging a tesla off grid 100 percent is pretty easy but you need a couple little things to start so you need a solar panel right here i have a 200 watt nursery panel connected to this g1500 markson solar generator connected to a j plus booster unit capable of 40 amps of output using a special connector nema 1450 you guys that own teslas might recognize that so pretty much i keep all this in the front of my tesla that i have open right here so i've got all the other connectors i also keep an extension cord this right here saves you a lot of times if you need that little extra boost right there so also i've got the nema 1450 adapter and then also just a normal wall plug adapter i always keep in the front of my tesla a little battery jump box right here we'll talk more about that in a future video but you can jump off a of tesla with this there's a little battery right there the lead acid battery if you've got a newer tesla you also have a lithium ion phosphate battery right there in the front so right here the solar generator this is connected directly to the back side of my Markson solar generator, it plugs right in the back right there, and then right in the front, so I'm not currently charging, but you can see the sun just went behind a couple clouds, so I'm getting about 50 watts. 100 watts is kind of standard right here on this particular solar panel. I would recommend one that has a bigger output, so you're gonna charge this thing up a little bit faster. So I started at 99% right here, and I dropped down to 65% in less than 15 minutes. How is that possible? So I was pulling 1,825 watts directly to the J Plus booster, and we'll demonstrate this in a little future video. But right now, how much charge did 15 minutes get to the car? So it says right there on the screen, it added two miles of real range, 16 amps of charging. And right there, I've got the charging complete. Because I set it, it was 72% charge, and I set it on 73 just to see how long it would take as a little experimental test, and it is possible. So while I get a lot of Tesla comments, I can't answer them all. Is Tesla the perfect car? Well, it's not for everybody. Electricity takes a whole lot of adaption because horses back into the 19th century used to be the number one mode of transportation, horse and buggy. Well, what does horses have in common with Teslas? Well, they're both organic. Horses, you feed them grass. They live off the land and you get on a ride. You let them rest at night and they're ready to ride in the morning. Well, Teslas are the same way. You charge them up off of the free organic sun power and you are ready to go in the morning for your work commute. Are they the perfect option? Probably not for everybody. A lot of people say the limited range. Well, how often do you drive your full tank of fuel in one day? Hardly ever. Well, a lot of people say if you go on a road trip, Teslas add a day's worth of charging. Well, that's not true at all. With Tesla's version three chargers, I've got up to a thousand 100 miles of charging speed well at 253,000 watts that's 253 kilowatt hours directly to the battery that's a whole lot of power and a lot of people saying the fire risk well gasoline cars burn at 150 gasoline cars per day that is 11 fold over per billion miles of tesla cars so teslas are pretty much the safest car on earth as according to the national highway traffic safety institute association so check it out teslas are they perfect absolutely not nothing on earth is perfect and one day this jet ski right here is going to be fully electric behind my tesla and i can't wait for the future so if you're here along for the ride hit that subscribe button smash the like button it's also free just like this solar power charging this tesla right here stay tuned for the next video